what if you could take a free genetic test? Researchers are hoping women at risk for ovarian cancer will do just that. The test is simple. Just open the box and spit into the tube a few times. They um, fill a small volume of spit into a tube. Um, they put it back into the mailer that's given to them and it gets shipped back to um, the company. Elizabeth Swisher is a clinician and researcher at UW Medicine in Seattle. Her work is focused on cancer genetics and the prevention of ovarian cancer in women. It's about one in 70 women will get ovarian cancer during their lifetime, but it's a very deadly cancer. Um, and we have no effective screening for it. So unlike breast cancer, we have no effective early detection. And when women get it, it's usually advanced at the time they get their cancer. Serena Stamper is worried about her risk for ovarian cancer. The Seattle area nurse works with breast and ovarian cancer patients, but she also has her own family history of the disease. My paternal grandmother was diagnosed with ovarian cancer when she was 52. And now that I'm 46 and have children, it's become more a part of my thinking. Serena has sent in her genetic test but has not received her results. The Magenta study, as it's called, is screening for much more than the BRCA1 or 2 gene mutation. We're testing for thousands of different mutations but in 19 different genes. We're not going to prevent all ovarian cancers through this strategy. About 20% of ovarian cancer is hereditary. But there's um, a lot of lives that we can save if we identify those women who are at risk.